Hey guys, it's Briggs here, and like always, welcome to All Day Anime, and today I'm going to be counting down 10 facts on Leorio from Hunter x Hunter. And my last few intros have been very long with channel updates and such, and that's not normally my thing, so this time around, let's just jump right into it. Leorio's last name was never revealed before the Hunter Chairman election took place. His last name is a combination of two types of warrior, an amalgamation of the words Paladin and Knight, which suits him pretty well. Paladin's known for their healing and Leorio wanting to become a doctor, and he also wants to become a doctor to help the poor, which is an action befitting of the name Knight. Leorio's English voice actor in the 2011 version Matthew Mercer is also responsible for many well-known characters, such as Yamato from Naruto Shippuden, Levi from Attack on Titan, Kuro Yatogami from K-Project, Kirisugu Emiya from Fate Zero, and my boy Trafalgar Law from One Piece. In both the manga and the 1999 anime, Leorio was able to open the first door of the Zoldix testing gate on his own. But in the 2011 anime, they removed this scene and had him open the door alongside Karapika and Gon. Leorio is an emitter. By the time he met Gon and Kalua in York New City, he can only use 10 and was unaware of the existence of other techniques. However, during the 13th Hunter Chairman election, Leorio is shown to have greatly improved having developed two different abilities known as Warping Punch and Ultrasound. Warping Punch being basically what the name says, after hitting an object near him, Leorio emits his aura to create a warp portal on another object from a relatively long distance, through which he emits a fist which can stretch far beyond the length of a normal arm to strike the target, and Ultrasound which is when he uses one hand to examine the body and releases his aura in pulses around an area like an ultrasound to detect other organisms within it or abnormalities in the human body. According to Jin Freaks, his hat to is closely linked to his studies in medicine, and praised this technique as it is harder to detect compared to regular N. Leorio's birthday, March 3rd, falls on the Japanese festival of Hinamatsuri. It is also the same day that the manga was serialized, and on top of all that, Leorio shares the same birthday as, um, me. According to the Hunter Hunter manual section found in the Yu Yu Hakusho official character book, Leorio's stats in the Hunter exam arc are 2 out of 5 spirit, 1 out of 5 skill, 2 out of 5 strength, 0 out of 5 nen, 2 out of 5 talent, and 3 out of 5 intelligence. And then in the York New City arc, his spirit increased by 1, his skill increased by 1, his strength stayed the same, his nen increased by 1, his talent actually decreased, and his intelligence stayed the same. They made Leorio look like a wimp in the 2011 anime compared to the manga. In the manga, Leorio was able to open the second door of the Zoldix testing gate, but he needed the help of both Gon and Kalua to open the first door in this adaptation. He was also the one who beat the mafioso in the arm wrestling contest, but in the remake, he didn't even compete. And just his overall persona in the manga compared to the anime really shows that he's the weakest of the team. His debut age was 19 and is currently 21. And on two separate occasions in the series, he had shocked people by telling him that he was a teenager because of his older appearance, especially compared to Karapika who was only two years younger. Leorio has many similarities with Togashi's Yu Yu Hakusho character Kazuma Kuwabara. Both are the tallest members of their respective teams. Both use bladed weapons in combat with Kuwabara using his spirit sword and Leorio using his knife against Hisoka. Though both are undeniably more powerful than the average person, they are still regarded as the weakest members of their respective team. And both of them also get into humorous conflicts with the shortest member of their teams, Leorio with Kalua and Kuwabara with Hie. Their powers are very similar, in fact they both use abilities that can alter space. Also Kuwabara is a capable sensor, and Leorio later developed a technique that can detect other people. Kuwabara strives to get into the best school possible and become more intelligent, while Leorio strives to become a doctor. And coincidentally, Leorio and Kuwabara have the same Filipino voice actor. And number one, and like always, a little bit of a lightning round. Leorio's manga debut was chapter 2, and anime debut was episode 2 in the 1999 version, and ended up being episode 1 in the 2011 version. His debut age is 19, and is currently 21. His height is 193 centimeters, or 6 foot 4, weighing 85 kilograms, or 187 pounds. Born March 3rd, his eye color was green in the 1999 version, but brown in the 2011 version. His hair color was brown in the 1999 version and ended up being black in the 2011 version. His Nen type is a mission. His two known abilities are Warping Punch and Ultrasound. Leorio's 10 was not shown in the York New City arc of the 2011 anime series, but was shown in the manga. In the Arabic adaptation, Leorio's name was changed to Yorio, and the Miss Universe Japan 2013 calls out Leorio as her type. 
And that is the end of this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button to let me know. I really do appreciate it. And it helps me tell if I should continue to do Hunter x Hunter fact videos in the future. But yeah, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. And also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more all day anime. And just like that, I will see you guys all next time, dudes. Shin Haku.